All right, so in this clip, we're gonna look at uh, how to find the volume of a region which is bounded by two parabolic cylinders. So y equals one minus x squared and y equals x squared minus one. And, and if you look right here, you can see those two parabolas kind of going back to back over the, uh, the a, a copy of the plane. Um, and then they're gonna be bounded above and below by x plus y plus z equals two and two x plus two y minus z equals 10. And so I didn't actually draw those in yet. Let's go ahead and do those now. So the first one, x plus y plus z equals two, that's gonna be some plane kind of knacking through here like this. Um, and so it's, uh, it's actually going to see, actually that was kind of an abysmal plane. Uh, yeah, I don't like that plane. Okay. Like that. So that when we zoom in, it's going to be um, something like this, like that. Okay. And then when we, uh, then the other plane, x, uh, 2x plus 2y minus z equals 10, that's going to be something that kind of chops through like this one. And so it's going to cut things off. Let's see, like maybe, uh, oops. There we go. <clears throat> um, so then if I go ahead and extract all of that, okay, brace yourself. This is gonna be a nightmare. Clean this up here. Boom, ba -doom, boom, boom. And uh, all right, there we go. So, so that's our guy. And actually, it makes it look a little bit bellowed here. I can take those out. Those aren't actually, aren't actually seams or creases. All right, so there is our um, th the shape that we're gonna be looking for. Okay, and so now the first thing to do is figure out, okay, how do we wanna set this up as a triple integral? What looks like the most easy thing to do? Mm. Now, if we were gonna do, say, dx first, then we'd be integrating in uh, this direction, and um, that would be dicey because we'd be, you know, entering over here at some side of the one parabolic cylinder, and then exiting over here at the um, on the opposite side of the same parabolic cylinder. So we'd have to split that into a positive and negative root situation. And then we'd have to do like a whole other integral for, you know, lines that are puncturing the other side over here where they, you know, come in on that side and exit over here. Um, so that looks like a messy, bad situation. Let's not do that. Okay. Then we could also say, well, what if we did it in the uh, dy direction? So if we were punching through uh, this way, well, that's slightly better. That means we'd be going from um, one of these parabolas to the other one in that direction. So in other words, you know, we'd, we'd hit over here somewhere and then exit over here somewhere. And that wouldn't be so bad. But then if you say, okay, where, look at these, uh, these blue lines that I just drew. If we come down lower, then we're actually gonna be hitting somehow on that uh, bottom ellipse, well, not ellipse, but um, the, the, the part that's sliced off by that plane, and then we'd be leaving on the far side through the parabolic cylinder. And so figuring out what the domain and so on and so forth with that, from that, that would just be an absolute nightmare. Like, in other words, if we do a projection, so if we stand here and we look at the shadow that this thing casts on a wall that is orthogonal, that's a jacked up wall. 
uh, a wall that's orthogonal to the um, y-axis, then it's going to have like some shape up here and some shape down here and then the region between them. And the easy part is going to be this part, but the other ones are going to be monstrous nightmares and figuring out what the formulas are for bounding those regions. Yuck. Okay, so fully abandon that plan, jump overboard, out the window, and back to square one on the drawing board. Um, we'll do good old dz integration again as our first step. So we'll be going from top to bottom. And I guess I already kind of telegraphed that move by coloring the bottom one in green, make the top one red, just for like uber emphasis. Um, <clears throat> then we've got, uh, yeah, so here, so we'll go from the bottom surface. Oh, what the heck? It's doing some crazy uh, video error on me. Maybe panic. Okay, so there's there's our, our, our bottom surface where these lines are going to begin. And then we have our upper uh, top surface over here where this line uh, leaves the solid. All right, and so we can go ahead and set up that integral. Okay, so the uh, bottom one, this is given by the plane, um, x plus y plus z equals 2. And since we're doing dz, I solve it for z. So it becomes uh, 2 minus x minus y. And then the upper plane is given by uh, this one right here. So I solve solve uh, this one for z. And I see uh, z is equal to 2x plus 2y minus 10. Um, Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's there's actually a typo in the setup of the problem here. And that is that this uh, 10 is actually supposed to be um, minus 10. So when I get here, this should be a plus 10 in the formula. Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we've got, uh, let's see, two minus, z equals 2 minus x minus y up to z equals 2x plus 2y plus 10. And we're doing volume, so we're going to integrate good old 1 dz. All right. Now, what do we have left? Where, uh, what is the, the region in which these blue vertical lines are going to be collected? So once again, you imagine yourself like way up above looking downward and imagining the projection and so the projection down here on the x y plane is going to be uh just a copy of those um curves that we originally had so let me oh i don't need that oh but i did need that okay uh, so there it is. Okay, so there's our, our shadow on the x, y plane. And so now we need to figure out how to set this, this thing up. And as I mentioned uh, before, it's going to get a little bit dicey if we try going through it like this because then we're gonna be hitting the um, negative and positive branches of a square root function. So we're actually much better off doing this direction first. And so let's do dy as our next integration. Okay, so then that means we're gonna be looking at setting up uh, these formulas here. Um, as y equals this and y equals that and gee golly gosh they're already done so we just need to figure out which one is which and and in fact you can probably see that um, we're going to start over here on this one which is y equals x squared minus one notice it takes value minus one when x is equal to zero and then we're going to leave on this curve over here which is where y is equal to one minus 
x squared. Notice it's a parabola opening in the negative direction, so that helps you identify it. Okay, so we go um, y equals x squared minus 1 up to y equals 1 minus x squared. Boom, dy. And then we just need to figure out um, where the uh, slices occur. So we have the first one here. It doesn't take a rocket surgeon to figure out that that's at x equals minus 1. And that we get these slices all the way through here until we uh, clip that last little one at x equal positive 1. All right, and there you have it. That's how to set up this, this integral. Um, <clears throat> and once again, just to be uh, redundant, after we've done the first integration, this looks like, um, see, so we're gonna integrate that one to get z and then evaluate it at the top and then evaluate it at the bottom. And then that should uh, uh, be familiar to you as a double integral set up over this region where the function is the difference between these two uh, planes, the distance between those two planes.